one. Um, so I have been looking at um, this sound generator, which is normally used for um, for video game jams like the Ludum Dare um, and you know short video game jams. A lot of times, people just don't have time to make their own sound effects, and so Dr. Petter went through the trouble to make SFXR, this fantastic sound generator. Um, which has been iterated upon by many other people. There's BFXR and JFXR, and um, you can check those ones out. They have even more and more features, but from a personal standpoint, my favorite one is still SFXR. It doesn't quite have as many features, and here, let's just uh, get a bunch of these random sounds. Oops, let's uh, turn the volume up here. Mash that randomize button a few times. So it's pretty good at making like these like pick up coins. So what I've done is I've wanted to use this thing in a musical setting and I didn't want to have to delve into VST programming. So instead I used Reactor. I used Native Instruments Reactor to create um, an implementation of SFXR and its concept. So I looked through the source code, reverse engineered some of it, had to do a little bit of substitution. And now I've made, well, basically a synth of this whole thing. I've, I've went through and, you know, there's the, um, there's the volume slides and there's vibrato and all those things. I looked through it, tried to apply them uh, in the same order. I tried to be as faithful to the original as I could. Still had to do some tweaking. Now you can hit the randomize button to, to randomize your own snapshots. Pretty cool. I'm noticing a little bit of clicking and flickering on this, and I'm guessing that has to do with my latency buffer. Here we are, hardware setup perhaps. Yeah, let's increase that buffer a bit. Ah. Yeah, let's make it even more. There we are. Looks like the underruns are gone now. Let me randomize it again. Is that loud enough for you guys? Not quite. Let's bring that up. And the nice thing is that I can actually use the keyboard and I can play different tones on it, so... Try another one. Let's turn down the, uh, f the phaser and flanger. Could also be that the cutoffs are too, a little too high. Ah, oh, yeah. And sometimes, like, when you hit them, you might get a bit of a dud. Mine's not quite as good as his is at generating. I think I still have to go in there and change the way that, that the uh, random values are being interpreted. But, uh... Could, again, cutoffs. So, what a fantastic tool this is for just being able to come up with all kinds of crazy sounds.
So depending on where on the keyboard you're pressing, you're going to get a different effect. There's a pitch bender, so I'm using that. So weird. Oh, man. Way too much fun. This is way, way too much fun. And sometimes, again, it's like, it's a bit of a dud. But that's okay, I mean, don't give up on your duds, go in there. Ooh. Cool. There's a bit of a, there's a bit of a, like a voice, like a vocal kind of formant in there. So how cool is that? So anyway, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna take this thing, file, save the ensemble, uh, ensemble or whatever you call it. Uh, just grab that thing. Let's put it up on Dropbox for everybody to have. Gonna just uh, take this thing, copy the public link, and I'll just uh, I'll put it in the description. Anyway, I'll talk to y'all later. Pretty cool stuff. Thank you, Dr. Petter, for making SFXR great. Thanks to you, and I'm sure all of us game developers are very thankful to you. So, uh, in the spirit of giving, since you've given so nicely, why don't I put this thing out there? So, all of you who have Native Instruments Reactor, I think you can get the Reactor Player. Um, check out Native Instruments site, and I'll talk to y'all later. Peace out.